Jesus. So many of you already know, Han Solo directors Christopher Miller and Phil Lord have quote-unquote stepped down from the film. Of course, that's what the Lucasfilm statement said, but some sources have given us more in-depth look on why they were let go. So, let's look into this. Apparently, they've had a rough start ever since February. They started shooting this film, I believe, late, like probably January 31st, sometime beginning of February. And apparently, they weren't doing well back then either. Kathleen Kennedy didn't agree with really their directing style, and for those who don't know who these directors are, they have directed 21 and 22 Jump Street and the Lego Movie. Those are their biggest hits, but their style of directing is very modern, and they improvise a lot on set from behind-the-scenes stuff with other films they've done. So whatever's written on paper, they don't necessarily do while filming. But the writer for this film, the person who wrote Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, and co-wrote The Force Awakens with J.J. Abrams, wrote this film as well. And apparently, he did not like these two directors either, because he's a very classic director. He's very, whatever's written on paper, do it. It's kind of like two generations coming out ahead, uh, improvising, like, hey, I'm gonna do what I want to do, and the other one that's like, do what is here now. And also, sources have said that they don't understand the character of Han Solo, which is kind of hard to believe. This is the exact quote from an inside source that spoke to the Hollywood Reporter. People need to understand that Han Solo is not a comedic personality. He's sarcastic and selfish. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but if I would name three personality traits of Han Solo, selfish would definitely be one, brave and comedic. I don't know why they're saying Han Solo is not a comedic character, since he was pretty much the most comedic character in episode 4 along with C-3PO, but okay. Um, <laughs> anyway. Also, other sources from Vanity Fair have said that Kathleen Kennedy is, whew, I'm gonna do a video on Kathleen Kennedy. One of my popular videos, Dear Prequel Haters, yeah, I'm gonna do a Dear Kathleen Kennedy video very shortly. She needs to be put in check, let's just say that. So yeah, apparently other directors that Lucasfilm was trying to get is Ron Howard and Joe Johnson. Those are the two head runners, apparently, for the, the remaining shooting. But the thing I really don't, the thing I don't understand is why they didn't get fired earlier. It's been, what, filming for four to five months already, and there's only three weeks left of filming, plus reshoots? If Kathleen Kennedy didn't want these people directing, why didn't she fire them earlier and shoot as much as possible with the new director? I don't know. That's just me. I don't really understand why they didn't do that, but hey, I wasn't looking forward to this film anyway to be perfectly honest. And now I'm even more scared for this movie, so God. Han Solo, Solo film, is in a pretty bumpy place right now. We will find out a director soon. They're not gonna scrap the idea, so stop saying I hope it gets canceled. It's not gonna be canceled. If they've, they've been filming for five months, they put so much money into it already, it's not gonna get canceled, so just stop that. I would want it canceled too, but oh well. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, last like, and all that good stuff. It's nice to make a video that isn't Battlefront, to be perfectly honest, because like the last two weeks of video have been only Battlefront. It's nice to go back into some movie news. <laughs> so yeah, hope you all enjoyed this video. Subscribe for all things Star Wars. This is the First Order, signing out. Sector is clear. Not clear, not clear!